Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make this cool uh, maze effect. <clears throat> First off, I'm gonna grab my... We're gonna get um, through this kind of without knowing how to do it actually. <laughs> but I've seen one and it looks really nice so I wanna try and give you guys a tutorial on how I would do it. Anyways, first I would grab my line segment tool and make a line, straight line. Hold on the Alt or Option key, click and drag to make a copy of my line. This is the distance of my cubes. Maybe like this looks good. And then I'm gonna press and hold Command D to duplicate whatever I did earlier. We're gonna duplicate a bunch. I'll then select all of them, Command G to group them. Hold on Alt or Option, click and drag to make a copy. And now I'm gonna rotate it to make this grid. Um, Now, I'm gonna select both and I'm gonna fill my whole page up. I'm then going to grab my Shape Builder tool and I'm just gonna click and drag to create my maze. I'm going to swap the fill in the stroke so anything I will click will become this color. And I'm basically going to start with my maze. And then you can just connect different parts. I'm going to go this way, and then I'm going to attach another piece over here. Now, we're doing this as we go, so... But it's kind of looking cool already, so... I wouldn't be surprised if this turned out to be looking really nice. Um, I'm going to close it up over here. and on this side as well. To make sort of like a square shape, right? Looks pretty cool. I'm then going to select, um, first off, ungroup everything. Ungroup till you see the ungroup option available and then we're going to zoom in and we're going to select just the filled in shapes should be just these two and just move them away we can delete all the rest and we're left with this cool maze looking thing next thing you want to do is to use you can resize it if you want and you can use your 3D options. I'm going to go with the extrude and bevel. I still have the 2021 Illustrator version. So if you have the new one, it's going to be way cooler and easier than this. Um, but the process is basically the same. Um, so you can basically choose which way you want your 3D maze to be viewed in. Um, you can go with isometric side and then just click and drag on this little box to choose the exact positioning of it. So you can just press OK when you're happy with it. And you got a pretty cool 3D maze looking thing. Um, now you can make your grid whichever way you prefer. I did it with a line technique. Um, but you can definitely try and write out your name or your logo inside the maze. I think that would look pretty cool. And I'll try and make um, 
the shorter version of these tutorial that will be posted on my Instagram Reels. And I'll try and make it have my logo, so MVX in it. And we'll see how it goes. But uh, basically, this is how I would do it. Um, let me know if you do it any other way. And if you have any tutorial suggestions or requests, just feel free to comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you guys. Bye.